Hello and welcome to my next LP, Mega Man X5. And we got another, uh, little, um, what was it, uh, anime style intro, I, I guess you want to call it. Um, we have a new option here, training. We could actually, uh, do like a little practice level, but I don't want to do that yet. I might show it off in like an extra video or something, but right now, uh, we're going to go to game start. And actually, I want to see if I can... Uh, change the controls real quick. Game level, normal. I could be hardcore and go on EXTREME! Fucking faggot. But I'm gonna go to button configuration instead and make sure the dash is set to the L button. Because the X button, as I said before, is a bit awkward. And, of course, if you wanna jam out all of, the, all of this, uh, all this game's wonderful soundtracks, you could do that here. But we're not gonna do that right now. This game actually does have some good music. Um, every once in a while. So, here, once again, we have player select. Mega Man X, number 17, elite unit. This is an all-around hunter who can attack enemies at long range. This is a good choice for beginner players. Fucking call me a beginner. Zero, number zero, special unit. This is a powerful hunter who can slash enemies at close range. This is a good choice for advanced players. Oh, well now I feel like I'm supposed to pick zero because I'm an advanced... Shut up, game. Shut up. And you'll also notice that... Mega Man X is only Hunter rank B, and Zero is S A. <laughs> that must be like Super S rank or something. But anyway, depending on, uh, it doesn't even matter if you pick X or Zero, because you could still choose before every level. And we're of course going to be X. I recommend being X no matter what, but I'll get into that later. In the year of 21 XX, Mega Man X, Episode 5. Question mark, question mark. Not just one. Two question marks and a cold. Yes, it's ready. Piece of cake. The colony is still alive. I can let it fall at any time. Please let me do it now. I'm getting bored. All I... Is that an H? All I have to do is go back to the Earth and scatter the virus. Mysterious voice! Oh ho ho! Mysterious voice and question mark question mark are having a very, very in-depth conversation. Nobody dares to fight against you. Except those stupid maverick hunters. I'll do anything for you. Anything. Ooh, 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 kinky. Good, I'm going to Earth to execute our plan. Stay where you are and await further instruction. But I don't think you need to do it personally. Are they really a threat? Are X and Zero really so strong that you can't let someone else do it? Yes, they're so strong. He 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 he. Yes, in a matter of speaking. Zero, I'll show you what you really are and who you really are. No, maybe what? I don't know. And who your true enemy is. He he he. Wah ha <laughs> Black. Because, of course, mysterious voices obviously count black. So what is this? We start off with our armor from the last game. Oh, an alien, bitch. Yeah, Sigma's somewhere here. We gotta go beat him up. Yep. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so, anywho. The reason that I would uh, definitely recommend being X is because um, depending on who you choose uh, for the intro stage, you'll actually um, get sort of a bonus for that particular character. Um, if you fucking alien. Yeah, shit goes down here on the highway. You're probably wondering who Ailey is, but first let me finish explaining this whole intro thing that I'm not doing very good on. Basically, if you choose X, you'll get his armor from the last game, just right off the bat, and you could, you know, select that whenever you want. Um, and if you choose Zero for the intro stage, you'll get his uh, Z-Buster, and you'll be able to use that. Oh, and that innovative duck that I was talking about. Oh, it's so fucking useful. Oh my god, I'm just gonna jerk off, but I'm not really gonna jerk off. Because that'd be extremely uncalled for, and I'm recording right now. Yeah, this building seriously damaged Alia. Fucking retard. Of course it is. There's shit collapsing everywhere. Doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. But, um, up oh, an another impressive use of the duck feature. But basically, Alia is your navigator, and she'll give you pointless advice uh, whenever you so need it. You don't even need to step on this platform, honestly. Another little new feature that I don't think was in the previous game, if you press up near one of these ropes, you can, like, hang on them and shit. Uh, she lost trace of Sigma and Zero. They're up there somewhere. Yep. I'm not gonna narrate all of Alia's little tidbits. You can read them if you want, but, um, they're really just gonna slow this LP down, and we're already at the end of the intro stage. 
But I recommend picking X because um, whoever you don't pick will end up, I guess, fighting Sigma early and getting damaged. So whatever upgrade you'd get if you pick them would be destroyed. Like, see, his Z Buster is destroyed. I can only assume if you picked Zero, um, your fourth armor would be destroyed. Anyway, where's Sigma? He took off. Ailey is looking for him now, but can't pick up any readings. He is a virus. He can't be seen or analyzed correctly like other data. You have to feel his evil energy. That's the only way to find him. It's just like Dragon Ball Z. You have to sense him! You have to sense his key. He's actually in that statue. He's not hiding very well, though. And for the first time in an intro stage, like, ever, you actually fight Sigma. Sigma's head, not, not... False alarm, just, just his head. Hee hee hee! Stupid maverick hunters! You will all feel the true maverick power right before you die! So, giant Sigma head, we are now going to fight you. And his weakness is obviously that mouth thing, whenever he opens it, he's got like a little cannon there. Um, and he really only has like two or three main attacks. Um, you just have to wait till he opens his mouth and then shoot that. Um, which, oddly enough, isn't his weakness the second time you face him. When he does that, you just want to duck, and then he'll leave himself exposed for a little bit. Um, and when he creates those green energy balls, just uh, wall jump up to the top, and then you can easily dash over them. And once you start doing a bit more damage, um, nope, he's not going to do it yet. But um, showing off, again, how innovative the duck feature is. I don't I'm just going to talk about this the whole time I do the LP. And, oh, again, using the duck. Um, but yeah, later on in the battle, he'll open his mouth and prepare, prepare to use this sort of monster beam type thing. And you just have to duck under it. And even though it's supposed, to, it looks like it would take off X's head, it actually won't. So you'll be fine. And Sigma goes down pretty easily. Oh no! The Sigma virus has been leaking out. It must have spread all over and could cover the Earth by now. All of the Reploids are getting severely damaged. Sigma, he lost to us on purpose. We have to evacuate immediately. This... Hunter... Ace... This is Hunter Base, do you read me? Are you alright? Any damage? Are you alright? X, zero. The entire Earth has been thrown into a panic because of the Sigma virus. It's dangerous to stay there. Report back to the base. Darn it. Sigma, you will pay for this. Even if we fight, what good will it Shut the fuck up, X. The situation is far worse than expected. Sigma's explosion has spread the virus all over the Earth. It's affecting both people and reptiles. What's worse, the space colony, Eurasia, is heading straight toward us. At this rate, it's going to crash into the Earth in 16 hours. Everything, including reptiles and the entire human race, will be annihilated. We have no choice for the sake of the world. We must destroy the colony. But the only weapon we have in the Hunter base is this giant laser. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Or this giant rocket ship. I'll, autopilot doesn't work. Gotta crash it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to find some upgrades for these weapons so we can destroy said colony. And that's basically the gist of it. Um, yeah, there are too many fucking pointless characters that don't feel like narrating. But, um, yes, I do want to save. Let's do that right now. Okay, fine. No, wait, do I have to create a new save value? Yes, I do. Okay, let's save it right here. And return to the game. Alright, Alia. Or, yeah, he's gonna tell 16 hours. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. And then Alia, or Cygnus, actually. He's gonna describe each of the Mavericks. Um, but we really don't need to listen to any of that shit. Um, but now, pretty much, uh, we have all these extra characters just randomly, um, to help us out. They just, they weren't in X4, but they just kind of randomly appeared for X5. We got this guy, um, and we got a bunch of other screens besides the stage select screen. Basically, we want to destroy that colony thing, um, and we're gonna try to do so with the, uh, Enigma, which is basically a giant laser thing. But we need to find some power-ups, which these Mavericks conveniently have. And only by defeating them can we get these power-ups. And there are four for this giant laser thing, and if that doesn't work, then we're going to have to go to these four other Mavericks on the right side to power up our other weapon. You could honestly fire it right now, but it's not going to work. Um, and then you could fire the next thing and just go on straight to the, uh, to the, f like, fortress bosses, I guess, you, if you want to call them. But you won't have any upgrades, and I don't know. 
that's only for hardcore speedrunners, but basically, if you're starting off, I recommend something like Grizzly, uh, Slash, I think that's what his name is, um, or Crescent Grizzly, something like that. I think that's it. And now, before each stage, you can select who you want to play as, which is pretty cool. You can just be regular X, you can be 4th Armor X, or you could be Zero. And I'm actually going to be Zero for the first time ever. And, I don't know, they changed the names up in the American version for this game. I don't know why. Yeah, oh, it is Grizzly. Alright, so, apparently it is uh, Crescent, or Grizzly Slash, I don't know. I guess, I don't know, they changed up the name, so I don't, I don't really know what any of the Mavericks names are, because I don't know if they're the American version or the Japanese version, or whatever. But, anyway, this kind of reminds me of, um, the, uh, what is it, the train level in the previous game, actually. There was also a train level, and there was actually a boss, um, who had Slash in his name, so, whatever. Um, just gonna air dash over those guys. The cool thing about Zero is he has a lot of things that X doesn't. Uh, like, obviously he has the Saber, and... He would have the Z-Buster if you started out as him, but I'd say overall the 4th uh, Armor is going to be a bit more useful to us, so I'd start as X. Um, see, I'm not that good at Zero, which is why I don't play as him that much, but I figured I'd play as him just this once, so you could kind of get a feel for how he works out. Um, so, yeah. He does have the um, Air Dash ability, even though... Um, with, with X, I think you have to either use your force, the, the fourth armor, I think it's called, um, or you could just have the falcon armor, which is just amazing, but, um, I'll show that off later on. And the annoying thing about power-ups in this game is that you have to collect all of them for a specific armor for them to actually, uh, take effect. You just gotta rush through here, there's a, um, a, uh, what is it, a E-tank, I think it's called or just a sub-tank, even. Um, if you're quick enough, you can get it. Watch out for these spikes, because they would, they will kill you in one hit. Just grab that E-tank, just kind of hanging out there. And here we are. And I think this is it. This is the end of the stage, pretty much. The end of the train part of this stage, anyway. And badass, 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 jumping off a train. And, oh my god, this part, we gotta kind of do a tricky little, yep, I got it fairly quickly. Uh, tricky little jump to get up here. You are zero, aren't you? I don't know why he sounds like he's dying. Well, he is a hologram. Thank you for supporting X. Please continue to take care of him. I'll give you a program for X's armor, analyze and upload the data to X's main memory in a secure area. Then complete the armor. For security reasons, the program is divided into four segments. Once you gather and upload all four parts, the armor will be complete. Nothing happens unless you have all four. Um, her name is Alia, isn't it? She can analyze the data and ha and let you upload it. Anyway, here is the program for legs. With leg bear, bear you can fly and be invincible and shit. I don't know, there was something interesting about this. But I have one thing I want to ask you. Something, sometimes unknown data emerges in my mind. Data, data, whatever. Um, do you know him by any chance? I don't know, perhaps, if I saw him, but the data must be a fragment. I, I can't tell if it's a T. It's obviously an F now, but a fragment created by some error. I wouldn't worry about it. Why don't you just forget about it? I don't worry about it, but when I saw you, I felt an urge to ask you. I'm sorry I couldn't give you the answer to your question. Never mind, I didn't expect any answer. Anyway, I'll give X the armor program. Well, that was kind of awkward, but let's just grab that for X. Um, so yeah, you don't have to come back into a level as X if you want to collect all the um, armor upgrades, which is nice, because considering you do have to do that in X7. Fucking, I don't know why they decided to downgrade it like that, but whatever. I don't know. Uh, they made some pretty questionable uh, choices for X6 and X7, I must say. And now moving on to Crescent Grizzly, who I will highly likely die against considering I only have half of my health and I'm playing as Zero. And my only strategy as Zero is to just hack and slash and hope I don't get hit. Zero, seeing you reopens old wounds. You should have that looked after. I don't have time for small talk. Give me the crystal... 
with an eye ball. Why don't you do what you usually do and force me to? You used to be a maverick, right? That's what I heard. And you destroyed Sigma, didn't you? What? That old story? If you dare to try and fight me, then I accept your challenge anytime, anywhere. Hunters and Sigma are very similar. Very aggressive and overconfident. What? You're no we're nothing like that, scum. Oh, yes, you are. I'm just an arms dealer, but you, you destroy anyone who stands against you. Now I'm going to make you pay for what you did to me, Maverick Hunter. A little bit of there, Grizzly Slash. And, um, as, as your name implies, I'm going to be slashing you quite a bit. Basically, he's just this big-ass motherfucker who kind of jump around and kind of pop out and surprise you and stuff. But, um, I mean, as long as you keep moving, he's really not all that scary. Unless he does that, then he's a bit intimidating. But as long as you um, slash him pretty aggressively, or shoot him aggressively as, if you're playing as X, he'll go down fairly quickly. And that does it for me playing Zero for now. And that also does it for the first episode as well, I think. So um, I am Shouty Productions, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.